Hi, it's a beautiful full moon tonight and uh, just wanted to come out of my meditation and share some insight. Um, so I was invited to this uh, wisdom circle today and I decided not to go to be with my little boy who's three years old and I really wanted to go to this wisdom circle to be part of um, sort of taking the responsibility to hold the light, the light of this planet and join with other people who are light workers and are interested in the highest, serving the highest good of humanity and serving the highest purpose of um, this development on earth. And it's such a crucial time we're living in. It's such important work and it means so much to me um, to do this work. Um, however, I felt that today I needed to just be me and do what I'm doing in my everyday to hold the light and to keep the light strong in me. And I think that's one of the big intentions, I think, for every light worker is to really do the things that feels good to you to do to preserve uh, your flame and your light and make sure that you're in your highest vibration and that you're serving um, yourself first and the people around you. And I think it's really, really beautiful to come together with other people doing the similar work and set intentions to serve humanity for the highest good. And I think it's important that we do that work because there are a lot of people on the planet who have other agendas, who are not serving the highest good of humanity and I think sort of, if we could call it the battleground, um, I would say the battleground today is to really set that intention every day for yourself and um, for humanity to serve the highest good and make sure that in your daily life you do the things that make you vibrate at the highest and serve in the way that you do best. Um, we're all here with a specific talent and a specific um, journey. So it's important we stay true to that and um, and stick to that to that journey, whatever it may be for you. Um, so in terms of the battleground, there's a few things that I would like to put out there. I think one of the most important things that we're facing is sort of our natural resources. The first battleground I feel that is very, very important for humanity and for everyone um, s serving the highest purpose is to protect our water. Uh, so that we need to make sure that we have access to clean, safe drinking water. Um, so get politically active, get like locally active in where your water is coming from and be part of making sure that it's out of the corporate interests so that we can make sure that water is accessible and free uh, for everybody and that the quality of the water is as good as it can be because we have the science and lots of people are willing to share how you can get really good clean drinking water so i think that's like one of the most important things we can we can do um for, for everyone, for the planet as a whole. The second battleground, I feel, is our food industries. There's a massive corporate takeover of our food industries, um, and it's fully, uh, filling our um, resources with poisoning agents, and we also seeing a lot of GMO, um, genetically modified um, foods in our food chain. And it's making it harder and harder to kind of keep it out of um, our mouth and our foods. It creeps in everywhere and we don't even know what the um, sort of effects are. Um, and we don't need the GMOs, we don't need all the poison when you spray all this poison on our food, it's it's bad for the earth, it's bad for other living beings, it's bad for us. 
is essentially just poisoning the earth and our stomachs and everything else, all the insects and the wildlife that is living off the earth. So it's just like a bad, bad routine. Like, let's move out of this horrible chain and support all the organic food farmers and um, industries who are really working hard to create safe uh, and beautiful food for us. The organic food that we eat is best for us. We have the science, we know this. Nature does the best at creating beautiful food for us and that's what we should be eating. That's better for our children, that's better for the next generations, that's better for the people who's gonna inherit the earth after us. It's our duty and our responsibility to make sure that we leave the earth in a better in a better place than than what we received it in. So we we really need to to get active there and really support organic farming. You can put your money where your mouth is. Um, only buy organic. I know it's hard. I know many places um, it's a lot uh, more affordable. Um, it's a much much more pricey to buy organic foods. Um, but then get 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 organized, get local, like grow your own food, like make community gardens and make your like make it available. Press put pressure on the supermarkets. Find out who the buyers are for your supermarkets chains and say, we want organic. We don't want this bullshit food that is making us ill. Um also a lot of food education, I think a lot of companies are just um profiting off selling crap stuff we don't need stuff our that makes our children sick there's so much sugar and so much synthesized food that we really don't need our bodies can't cope they're just over you know over in capacity dealing with um all these toxins so keep your diet clean and um, eat organic that's what makes your children happy and what's essentially is going to make you happy and bright we are what we eat we know that it's ancient science you know so get get a little bit more um educated on it um so that was the first battleground was the water and the second the food industry the third i think is a really important place it's our rights i feel that every day there's kind of encroachments on, on our civil liberties um, also corporate takeovers there's um, there's so many um, places where um, our sort of human rights are just, just just dwindling there's so much talk about political correctness and it's you can't say this and you can't say that and you know we're clamming down on so many things because we're scared of terrorism and we're scared of other religions or we're scared of this and that and the unknown but really the most important thing is to protect our rights because otherwise all of a sudden our asses are owned by these corporate machines and that's not what we're here for. We're not here to be enslaved. Um, you know, everybody's born into this world as equals and we have our free will and I think really that's the most important thing for us to protect and to fight for is to fight for our equality our free will and that uh, essentially we have responsibility for our own lives and when you take responsibility of your own life you're not standing you're not letting someone else decide for you 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 have the power and you take care of yourself and your surroundings and again, comes back to serving the highest good of humanity. Every day you can set that intention to be of service, to help others. And the more we do that, the more we are a sort of organic organism who are just going to be much more in tune with each other and for the greatest good and just kind of getting on that, that good that good road that we know we can that we know we can sort of snap on onto it it is paved it is right in front of us we just have to walk it we just gotta grab some hands and uh, and see it you know we can really do this we can really clean up the water clean up the food chains help each other help um 
the people who are part of this um, corporate takeover of the world that are really working for profit over people like you know so many of the industries now are in sort of engaged in really criminal stuff when you think about it there's so many um questionable places in in the corporate um world where you know human needs are you know not really put first all that matters is is the greed is the profit and it's just boring we're just so done with it it's it's kind of insane it doesn't serve us so let's help each other snap out of it and let's help each other be reasonable and good people and serve each other serve the best interests for all people um i could go on and on but i think i'm just gonna leave it there and say you know um just set that intention for yourself to be you and work for the highest good of humanity and help others. And have a blessed full moon. Sending lots of love to everyone. Thank you.